Hello everyone and welcome. Happy Halloween. My name is Sam and today we are playing Shadowgate. So, yesterday we played Uninvited. This game is by the same people. Um, this is like the quintessential one of these games with like the exploring and puzzle solving. Um, in this case, it's in a dungeon of sorts. Um, years and years and years and years ago, I saw some people play through a bit of this game, so I may have some ideas about some um, solutions, but they were also playing a different version. This game is very popular um, throughout time. It is still, like, they're still doing remakes, remasters of it. It's been released on multiple systems. So, like, whatever system, whatever version they were playing, I do not think was the original NES version. So, unsure if any vague solutions that I remember will actually be valid. Um, I know that this game is hard. Um, there's many ways that I can run into death, but I'm going to try and figure this out. I'm going to take notes as I go to try and um, figure it out. And, you know, worst case scenario, if we get towards the end of the stream and I'm just not figuring it out, I'll use a walkthrough and we'll get through the game. But I'm going to try to, uh, to play it through and figure it out on my own. So, let's go. Shadow Gate. New file, please. The last thing that you remember is standing before the wizard, Lachmere, as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of the forest. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle's shadow gate lies your quest. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the warlock lord. Hell yeah! Alright. So here we go. Gonna look at some stuff. It's a stone wall. Yeah. Heavy wooden door with iron hinges. It's the skull of some creature. Its meaning seems quite clear. Death lurks inside. You seem to be wasting your time. Okie dokie. Well, let's go ahead and open the door. The door is open. It's the door leading into the castle's shadow gate. In we go. It begins. That pitiful was it. That pitiful wizard Blackmere was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it, for there's for the only thing here for you is a horrible death. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. Okie dokie. It's a beautifully woven rug. Seems to be wasting your time. Wooden door is reinforced with heavy sheets of steel. Even though this door is only an inch thick, it's very sturdy. It's a torch, and oil-soaked rag is wrapped around it. Can I take it? Torch is in hand. Torches are very important! Torch is in hand. Alright. Let's open this side door. We'll go right first. Door is locked. All right, we will not do that. We will go forward. Door is locked. What do you mean? You have to open the door before you go through it. Uh, open rug? It won't open. Hit door. Nothing happened. Hit door. Nothing happened. Use torch. Torch is lit. On door. 
Shit. Uh... Spells, but I have none. Okay. I'm already fucked, because, uh... It's the entrance to Shadowgate. You can hear wolves howling deep in the forest behind you. I'm already totally fucked because of using a torch there. Can't take it. Um, hit? What? Speak. WTF. Certainly don't recall this. Uh, use... Torches are burning strongly. You need not light another. Well, what the hell? Okay, then. I don't recall anyone ever getting stuck this quickly. Open. As if by magic, the skull rises. Cake. Key. Key one is in hand. Small iron key. Okay. Use key. Key worked, it unlocked the door. Does it work on this? Key doesn't fit into the keyhole. Bye, Zeno. Have fun with chores. Stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Stone seems to be set loosely in the mortar. The torch. There's something out of the ordinary about this torch, but you can't put a finger on it. It's a small candle, perfect for reading. It's an ancient tome. It seems that no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. The book is opened and examined. A rectangular hole has been cut out of the inside of the book. Ah! Give me that key. Thank you. I would like to take this. I would like to take that. I have a special torch of note. I would like to hit this. Pow! The stone falls away to reveal a secret passage. Whoa! go that way first. As soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. You seem to be wasting your time. It's very dark. Finely crafted silver arrow is not uncommon in the elven lands. The 
arrows in hand. Okay. The ledge wasn't strong enough to hold you. You fall to the ground and land hard on your rump. Hmm, it's too high for you to reach. Okay. Uh, I'll come back later. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. It's unfortunate. Heavy wooden door, iron hinges, finely crafted wooden door. This door seems to be made of solid oak. Let's go right. Door is open. A shark swims by as if patrolling this calm pool. A lime-covered skeleton stares at you through eyeless sockets. It's a small brass key. The waters of this subterranean lake are as still as a corpse. Metal door shows significant signs of rust. Can I open that door? I can't get that key yet because there's a shark. I don't have any way of safely traversing that. Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool, clean stream. Okay. Cold water cascades down a cliff. It's very dark. This landside looks like it occurred ages ago. It would take you months to clear it away. The way up the stairway is obstructed by a landslide. Okay, back I go. There's the shark. Forward. This long, cold hallway is lined on either side by a half-dozen coffins. Uh-oh. I sense death. Alright, let's test these. Cold marble coffin lid seals an ancient deathbed. This tomb is sealed with a silver lid. Door is opened. It's a cold... The torch goes out with a fizzle. With outstretched arms, you move slowly, looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash. You fall face first to the floor. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Shit. Torch is lit. You die if you try if you move or try to do anything when the torch is out, you die. Standing sarcophagus, seal dragon seal cover. Lid to this coffin is made of solid gold. Must be worth a fortune. Okay. Lid of the coffin is open. A mummy stands silently before you. Lid is open. It's a leather pouch. Open. Bag 2 is open. I guess I'll take them. Copper coins are in hand. open. This green slime is quite disgusting. The coffin is open. As you open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering scream. You're alright, but it's very hard to hear. You try to pass the slime, but it engulfs your body, dissolving it in seconds. 
You die instantly. No pain, no nothing. You are slime. Death too. Elven Funhouse at King Otto's Fair. Okay. This room looks remarkably like the one owned by the sirens of the Isle of Yeklum Iret. It's a torch, an oil soaked rag. Mirror is a carved oak frame. Mirror throws back a fine reflection. Carved oak frame. Okay. Taking these torches. And let's move down. You jump down the hole and, after a couple of moments, hit the floor. It seems that you have broken both of your legs. It's only a matter of time before you die. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Bad idea. Alright. More exploring to be done. Before restarting. Because I will have to restart. I've, I'm wasting torches. And whatnot. So what's on the left? Enter a cold room, the scent of flesh and decay pervades the small chamber. You begin to shiver. This room is really cold. It's a large pedestal with an iron trim. A small hole in the wall, some three inches. Small trap door made of polished metal. Doors open. Doors open. Torch in hand. Torch in hand. Alright. Let's go down the trap trap door first. Broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trapdoor, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. Well, okay. grips you as you enter this hot room. It's a heavy shield. There are only a few dents in it. It's an ancient gnome warhammer. This weapon does not show the signs of battle. The spear is some um, seven feet long. The tip seems to be made of finely forged silver. The skull looks like it has been dried and cracked by extreme heat. Seems to be the skull of some unfortunate individual. Seems to be the helmet of the sort commonly worn by hobgoblins. This is an extremely heavy iron-bound chest. It is securely locked. All you can see are two eyes in the darkness. They seem to be watching every move you make. Can I take anything? Can I open... Torch went out. Okay. Dead again. Mm -hmm. 
Flames suddenly shoot from the dragon's mouth. Dragon flame engulfs your body. You pay for your curiosity with your life. Okay. So now, he. see a sword and a sling inside. It's a small leather sling. This would come in handy for long-range battles. It's a double-edged broadsword. The handle was has druidic script written upon it. Okay. Raise your shield just in time to block the dragon flame. Hammer is in hand. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. Not even your best friend could recognize your burning body. Dragon flame engulfs your body. Okay, okay. So.
wrong. Sneaky. The walls in this room are much too close for comfort. Damp walls of this eerie cavern are rough and irregular. Okay. Rock is quite loose. Won't open. This rock falls down as if hinged to the wall. It's a leather pouch. I'll take them. Stones. break these mirrors.
Jim's fit, but nothing happened. Jim fits perfectly in the hole. A small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. Okay. Uh, give me that. And now... Give me that. Chill, dragon. Torch, torch, torch. Goodbye. So a sphere cold as ice, eh? First of all, let's use this torch. Second of all, let's use Drop the sphere into the lake and notice the ripples disappear as the water turns to ice. Give me that key. Key three is in hand. Nice. You can't take it. Oh no! I can't go down or I die. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Hidden door. Spiral staircase leading down. Alright. Onward. 
You stand at the edge of a deep chasm. From the darkness below arrive the screams of the undead. This cave is hewn roughly in the chasm's wall. This shabby bridge is held together with nothing but frayed ropes and rotten planks. The ropes are indeed in bad condition. Judging by the intricate workmanship, this bridge seems to be quite sturdy. Alright, let's check that one first. I need a rope. What? Ah! What's this? A wraith is standing in your way, bar barring your path. It's a shadowy wraith, a hideous specter who eternally walks the line between life and death. This heavenly cloak contains no frivolous adornments, such as pockets or a hood. It's a torch. talk to you first. It doesn't seem to understand what you say. Actually, um, I have coins. Do you want coins? Turn it. Welcome. Uh, Karen, I have coins. Would you like to, would you like copper coins? <laughs> Nothing happened. Well shit. Um Would you like a spear? Nothing happened. Hammer? Nothing happened. to get near it. Um, shit. What do I do? I feel like the arrow is for something that I do remember. Wraith is amused by your feeble attempt in, and utters an evil curse at you. How goes this? Ah, uh, it goes. Oh, oops. Use. Let me just... I'm sure this is death, but... As you reach the middle of the bridge, it collapses under your feet. The bridge won't hold you. You can't cross unless you lose some weight. Adventure ends here. Okay. I'm experimenting and trying to learn things at the moment. Because I'm definitely gonna have to restart, because I'll... If you don't sort of know the order to do things in, you'll run out of torches. Can I use this? Nothing happened. Okay. Um. I 
see, I see. Yes. I died to a dragon already, too. back. Use hammer. Try and use that on the dude. On Karen. Goodbye, Orb. No, Orb is mine. Uh, this way. This way. Would you like an orb? Use sphere on. What the? Mother... Well then what do I do? How do I go with him? Uh... <laughs> Same thing that I did. Use this on you. No, wait a minute. It's best if you don't do that. What? This. Torch burns with a strange white flame. With a shout, you throw the flaming torch at it. Oh, okay. With a blinding flash, the white flame engulfs the undead apparition. When you open your eyes again, the wreath is gone. Hooray! Hello, XC! Um, I would like to take this cloak, please. What? Give me that. Cloak is in hand. Okay. I am doing good. How are you? I want to go this way. Hmm, it's too high for you to reach. Oh. Let's go upstairs. Or, I assume upstairs. Aha! I've been here before. I dropped down and killed myself like a dumb. Small stone chamber is lined on one side with two barred portals. It's a hemp fruit. Small silver vial glows with a lustrous shine. You notice that the bottle is impossibly light. Okay. 
It's a small silver bottle. What is it? It sure smells terrible. It's an ancient leather-bound parchment. Epor. Sign reads Epor. Okay. It's a torch. Okay. Sturdy bars seal the cage. Your nose detects the presence of a concealed animal. You can hear a faint scratching from within the dark depths behind the bars. Okay. Well. Give me the things. Take the bottle. Take this. Give me the rope. What do you mean I can't take the rope? What? Alright, open this scroll. The scroll is open. Your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Five to find. Three are one. One gives access the bladed sun. Five to find. Three are one. One gives access the bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining to the golden blade, the last to invoke the platinum horn. Okay. Give me that. I'm obviously not going to remember. I have a torch. Give me this rope! What do you mean I can't take the rope? What do you mean? Damp air is blowing out of the gap in the stone wall. Feel the ground shake as the rock moves slowly aside to reveal a passageway. Huzzah! Cold water from the limestone drips on your neck, sending shivers down your spine. Okay. This is a concave polygon. It seems to have been carefully carved into the stone. Stone wall. Wall is open. Okay. Um. Would you like a gem? Gem seems to fit, but nothing happens. Would you like this gem? As soon as you place the blue gem in the hole, you hear the sound of a grinding stone. The wall slowly rises to reveal a magical image of an old wizard. Whoa! Listen, warrior. The Warlock Lord can only be defeated by thy courage and the Staff of Ages. Remember, five to find, three for the staff, one to be the key, and one to be thy pathway. Have thy wits about thee, warrior. Fare thee well. Okay. Wall slides back into place, hiding the image from your sight. A scroll appears. Can I take this back? Can't take it. What does the scroll say? Scroll 2 is open. You read the scroll. Scroll reads, As the shadow of the wind thou shalt be. Humana. You've learned one magic spell. As the spell was chanted, scroll 2 quickly vanished. Oh, okay. Well. I want that rope so that I can secure this stupid bridge. Speak. Spell? Spell was chanted. Humana. Nothing happens. There must be something missing. Oh, damn it. Okay. Um. I 
seem to have run into a bunch of dead ends. So what's this game about? It's a castle-y dungeon crawler. I am trying to find the warlock lord, or whoever, and defeat him to save the world. Uh, dragon's up here, right? It's an old NES game, and this game has is very popular. It's been remade multiple times um, and re-released on multiple systems. Most there is a very recent version with really nice art that is available on the Switch. Gazoo tight, Molly, silly girl. This is my last Spooktober game since I've never played Shadowgate. I'm just not sure where to go, though. I don't know. Been through here. And this leads me there. Room full of mirrors. Can I do anything? Some Norse god, you smash the hammer into the mirror. You shatter the mirror, revealing an iron door. Ha ha! I thought so. Three suspicious mirrors. Right now, I'm mostly trying to gather information because there's absolutely no possible way I can beat this game on this go around because I've already wasted far too many torches. So. As soon as you break the mirror, shards of glass fly through the air and slice into your body. Blood pours from your wounds and your body slumps to the floor. Dead! Yeah, there's many ways to die. One of the most annoying ways is if your torch goes out, you will, the next time you try to move or do anything, you will uh, stumble and fall and die. You have opened a magic portal into deep space. You are immediately sucked through. The lack of air causes you to quickly lose consciousness. The Grim Reaper quickly embraces you. Yeah, okay. So don't touch those doors. In the version that I've seen people play a little bit, when you fuck up and let your torch go out, the next time you move it says, uh, basically that you were stumbling around in the dark and you have tripped on a loose flagstone and broken your neck. Your adventure ends here. Like, well, shit. Door is locked. I have a key. Click. Key worked. It unlocked the door. Huzzah! Let's go. What's in here? This room is incredibly hot. This must be what the lower levels of Gehenna are like. The heat is unbearable and you have to turn back. Um, what if I use this cloak? Use cloak on self. You try on the cloak and find it very unbecoming. It barely fits over your armor. So hot, you begin to sweat profusely. Ah! Suddenly, you feel a gust of wind. Wah! A searing blast of heat knocks you across the room. Hello? It's okay if you're lurking. That's cool. A flaming horror appears at the end of the bridge. Ah! Uh, use... Sphere. On this! You hurl the sphere into the fire below you. The hellspawn flames quickly vanish as soon as the spear touches them. With nothing to feed itself on, the fire drake immediately follows suit. Ha ha! Ah, but I lost the spear. But that's okay. That's clearly what it was used for. Go me. Alright. Quick thinking. A 
sharp cold wind whips up over the edge of the deep dark chasm. It's a sturdy wooden bridge. Strong cold wind blows up from the chasm. It's a doorway. Alright, let's move forward. Ah! As you step on the bridge, a troll appears and says, This bridge is mine. Oh, it'll cost you a gold coin to cross. Oh shit, I don't have a gold coin. I have copper. All I have is copper. Would, would, would you like copper? The troll says that the toll has just been raised to two gold coins. Son of a bitch. Uh, would you like this gem? anything for you. Uh, I choose violence. So, I will use this spear. The troll falls silently into the dark cavern. You listen, but you do not hear him crash. And I'm gonna go. Hi! Moon casts a brilliant shadow over the grounds of the courtyard. The torch goes out with a fizzle. Son of a bitch! With outstretched arms, you move slowly, looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash, you fall face first to the floor. Dead. <sighs> Hello. Finely crafted well made of stone and mortar. Cyclops stands before you, ready for battle. Ah, damn. Shit. Do I have- Ah! That's what the sling was for? God damn it. Alright. Well, that's as good a time as any to, uh, reset. I've learned many things. I also know now that I can use torches, so I want to try and kill the mummy, mummy with fire. So, reset. Kill the Warlock Lord. Open. Take that. And now I open this door. And we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me these torches. And I use that key on this door. And now I move into this door. Give me these torches. Open this book. And I take that key. And now I'm going to backtrack so I can get my stuff out of the closet. I 
like both of these. Sling and sword, please. Sword. Sling. As soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. Okay. Uh, give me the arrow. And now I use this. And I go here. Do this yet? Uh, use this torch. Oh, whoops. Use torch on this torch. Bye bye, Spectre. And now I take this torch this torch, and this cloak. Uh, open this door, and open this, and I take Take these things. Uh, open scroll. Five to find, three or one. One gives access to the bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining to the golden blade, the last to invoke the platinum horn. I take you. Is there really nothing about this sign? Sign reads Epor. Epor, Epor, Epor. You got it! Seems uh, some sort of magic word. Ah, it's a spell! You learned magic spell. Okay. What does Epor do? I can't take this rope. Does it do something with the rope? Speak. Epor. Spell was chanted. Epor. Oh, it's rope backwards! There are many strange things in this world. When you said the magic spell, the rope moved. Having stretched up uh, up to the hole, the rope stops moving. Ah, hell yeah. All right. All right, into the secret room. Mm, I do not have... Okay. Let's, uh... Here, and I'm gonna take this, this, and this, and then I'm gonna leave. I need the gems. Um, open this one, and open this one. Yes, mummy. Okay. So, I'm going to use... Let me... Can I burn you? The mummy bursts into flames, leaving behind a scepter among the ashes. <gasps> is that the scepter of ages? This jewel-studded scepter is truly made for a king. Gimme! Scepter is mine. Give me that bag. Um, open the bag. Actually, it, yeah, that one just has the coins. Okay. Uh, move out. I have to open the door. I'm gonna have to 
it open. torch before mine goes out. And I'm going to take these stones, and then I can get behind the waterfall. in the back. Give me those gems. Cake. Cake. And cake. Okay. Take this bag for good measure. Alright, out we go. Now I go through here. Say hi to the dragon. Hello, dragon. Shield, please. Need the shield. I need the hammer. Spear. Or the spear. And I need that torch. And then I'm out. the burning torch close to it, okay? The torch melts away the ice over the sphere, allowing it to float to the surface. Not surprisingly, the lake quickly refreezes. Okay. Give me that sphere. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm out. on Halloween candy that no one came by for. Oh. Yeah, I've never had trick-or-treaters, so I don't buy... I, 
I didn't buy any candy this year because I've literally never had a trick-or-treater show up at this place in like four years, so. Uh, blue gem, I believe, was this? Yes, wizard, talk to me wizard, and now I get a scroll with another spell. As the shadow of the wind you shall be, Humana. Okay. And now we move, and it's time to break that mirror, and I have made record time getting back to where I was last time. See, I learned things. I did, you know, take a couple of hints about some things when I got completely stuck, um, but I'm figuring it out. getting nervous about my torch. Use a new torch. I feel like apartments will get them less because we didn't really get any last year at the apartments either. But also that was deeper quarantine. Yeah. Uh, I believe that's locked and so I will need key three. Yes. Use key three on this. Okay. Move. Oh crap. Whoops. Ah, damn it. Scary fire monster. Uh, sphere. Use sphere on monster man. Huzzah! Alright, let me look around here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Your view of the floor is totally obscured by thick black oil. Ah, seem to be wasting your time. Let's go. There's a troll on the bridge. That's okay, I'll just murder you. I don't want to pay your toll. Murder! <laughs> Ain't no one want to have their kids trick-or-treating no more since the paranoia, but that's fine, to be honest, because I hate opening up the door to give ugh, children candy. I saw a news article this morning while I was talking to Ryan that was like, be careful because, you know, people might give thick black oil and troll, fun times. People might give candy that's laced with, um, with lethal amounts of THC to your kids. And I'm like, ain't nobody spending the money on edibles to give to a child. Nobody is doing that. Not a single person. There is no one who is spending the money on, like, marijuana treats and giving them away. That shit's expensive. Um, okay. So my idea when I was screwed before was that I was going to use a stone. Because this is a cyclops. I want to hit him in the eye with a sling, David and Goliath style. This is where I restarted because it was clearly like, oh, well, I'm fucked it in the sling. And now I want to use the sling. Use sling on Cyclops. As soon as you start twirling the sling, a magical influence takes over your body. You cry out, death to the Philistine, and release the stone. And release the stone. Bullseye! Sweet. It was a David and Goliath reference. Parents actually worried about that. I ain't wasting edibles on your kid. That shit's for me, right? It was like the New York um, Attorney General that was putting out the warning. 
but it's like, look, this looks like a bag of Oreos, but it's actually laced with THC. And it's like, well, yeah, but, I mean, that's a dang- that is a warning that needs to go out to people who would buy edibles and then have children around their house who might mistakenly eat that thinking that this treat is really Sour Patch Kids or Oreos or whatever. No one's intentionally going to be giving this to children. It is possible that you should put those warnings out for people who buy the stuff for themselves and then have little kids around, hide that shit, block it up, because it's not for kids. But no one's purposely wasting that money. You can almost see stars revolving around the Cyclops' head. He's down, but not out. Got it. Teeth marks of water rats are evident on the rope. Open this door. Door is open. Let's go before he wakes up. It's a long, drafty hallway with one flight of stairs and several open passages. Okay, um, let's look around. Finely woven rug spans the entire hall. The torch. Archway has no door. Archway has no door. Heavy wooden door with iron hinges. Okay. I'm gonna take this torch. And now I'll start from the eh, I'll go from right to left, like always. Door open, let's go. Yeah, and also if it isn't like the name brand candy, it almost most likely will not be passed out to kids either, so. Like, who's putting edibles in their candy bowl? No one. Right. Unless it's like an adult Halloween party. You are awed by the by the majestic beauty of this immense banquet hall. Ooh. It's a beautifully woven rug. Finely crafted wooden door. Silk tapestry. Heavy wooden door with iron hinges. It's the family crest of Sir Dugan himself. The frame of this fine mirror is laced with silver and gold. The door seems to be made of solid oak. Alright, well the door is open. The door is locked. The door is locked. And the door is locked. Alright, I have keys. But I've already used the keys and I don't know that the keys have multiple uses doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Can't seem to find a keyhole. Interesting. No keys, that will work. Um, can I take any of these things? Can't reach. Ah, oh, I took the crest. Interesting. And the mirror. Interesting. Okay. I didn't really expect to be able to take those, but okay. Um, Let's leave. And let's go here. Smells like a kennel in here, and there are no windows through which to circulate fresh air. Okay. It's an empty test tube in a wooden rack. A small silver vial glows with a lustrous shine. You notice that the bottle is impossibly white. No 
another one of those. Sil silver vial. Your torch goes out. Ah, oh, shit. I died! Okay. The good news is when your torch runs out and you restart, it refills your torch. The steel mesh cage rattles constantly. A simple latch secures it. Ugh, there's a strange poisonous looking liquid in the pot. It really stinks. It's a doorway. Horseshoe seems to have taken quite a beating. Alright, um, I feel certain this is death, but let's just, for the sake of it, let's open this latch. You remove the latch and a mutated dog pounces on you. It looks like the doctor put something strange in the dog's water. Before you can do anything else, the mutation quickly rips you apart. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. <laughs> Sorry, I swallowed wrong. <clears throat> Are you what the fucking my coughing or the the dog? These games are full of instant death traps. <clears throat> I drink wrong. That's what caused the coughing. I'm okay. I didn't like choke on it. It was one of those ones that's like barely wrong. Can't take it. <clears throat> Hydrate now for your cough. I am. I'm drinking. I got the horseshoe. Bottle. Bottle four. I fix it with more drinking. Bottle three. <clears throat> it was what the fuck to the dog though yeah that's I mean these games have many like well you're dead like well I was just exploring I don't know you stand in a small garden the only sound is a falling water in the night it's a small wooden flute it looks like it could make wonderful music its exquisite marble fountain is shaped as the image of a sea serpent. From its mouth spews an acidic liquid, of course. <clears throat> Bark on this tree shows no hint of disease, and its leaves are an awesome gold color. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> ah shit, my torch went out. Rip. Mirror, horseshoe. Crest. <clears throat> Seem to be a better way to spend your time. Well, use scepter. <coughs> use 
the gem. I'm not sure what to do there. <clears throat> I'll come back. Some of this music is unnerving. Not as bad as Beta Lavender Town, but it's weird. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Stand in a small library. Alright, let's look around. Strong wooden desk fit for a king. There are a couple of drawers in it. This book looks quite old. The words, the prophecy is written on it. There's a fine map of lands of Tarkus. It is quite detailed, although incomplete. Small hole in the wall. Full of books, you don't have time to read every one of them. Think of your quest. This is a complete 12 volume set of Encyclopedia Druidica. Nice. Seems to be a skull of an unfortunate individual. Okay. Well, <clears throat> open. Desk is open. Oh! Okay, um... Open scroll. Scroll is open. Your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Lands under the heavens, the key to the world. Terra Turok. You've learned a magic spell. As the spell is chanted, the scroll vanished. Damn it! My torch went out. sun from far to near, light is what the darkness fears. Instant, uh, is instantum illumina. Learn the magic. Got the skull. Can I take this map? Sweet. Alright, let's uh, use a torch before I die again. Open the book. Book is open. You can't read the strange writing in the book. What if, what if, I use the glasses? Use glasses on self. You try the glasses on and they fit perfectly. Hmm, you can see very well. Open book. <coughs> Look book. Wow, with these glasses you can understand and read what you could not before. The light grows faint, the path winds round. Where life is lost, wisdom is found. The seed of the dream, where the evil is free, where the sword is hung, we must place the key. A bridge to, a bridge to from, amidst burning death, a demon to guard. Notari Viset. Huh. Okay. And that's clearly a gem place, so... <coughs> Red gem. Use red gem on this. Bookcase slowly slides away, revealing a hidden passage. Alright, let's move into this hidden passage. This room is dominated by a large fireplace set in a red brick wall. Okay. <clears throat> Pure goblet which glows with a lustrous shine. Through this portal, you can see the moon hovering over the, dark, the darkened mountains. It is a globe mounted on a stand for display. It shows all the known lands. Fancy. 
looking closely, uh, you can see a seam along the equator. <gasps> Open! Open! It won't open. Fireplace is quite large. Wooden bellows has stoked many a floundering fire. Um, <clears throat> okay. What do I have? Oh god, alright. I'm gonna take the bellows. I'm gonna take the goblet. Um, mirror, horseshoe, test tube, hammer, crest, broom, scepter, sword. Okay. Well, I'll just hit it and see if that works. Damn. Alright, I'll keep you in mind. this key out. Use key five on this door. Use key five on this door. Click key work to unlock the door. Alright, here we go. <coughs> appears to be a sphinx. It looks at you indifferently. Hello. You have stumbled upon a sphinx. It has the body of a lion and the head of a man. Strange eerie flame burns silently. Through this portal you can see the moon. Stairway leading upward. There seem to be some strange marks scratched into its side. to understand what you say. As you moved, the Sphinx spoke, Who are you? No one may pass without my permission. To pass, you must answer a riddle. I've no eyes, but once did see. Thoughts had I, but now I'm white and empty. Dost thou know? Bring me the answer to my riddle, and I shall let thee pass. Um. A skull? You have correctly answered my riddle. Ha ha! Thou may now pass. It was the white and empty that got me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sphinx. is beside a window. A star map is on the wall. This must be an observatory. As you peer through the telescope, you're amazed by the clarity of the night sky. It's an ancient leather-bound parchment. It's an ornate carving of a shooting star. The object is made of silver and is extremely heavy. Wood ladder. Okay. Open. The scroll is opened. You've read the scroll. Observing the stars, the throne constellation appears once every five summers. Legend says that it is a portal to another land. Okay. I'll take that. I'll also take this. And I will move upward. Aha! You are so captivated by the woman's beauty that you momentarily forget her predicament. Yes, in the moonlight she is even more beautiful. Looky, I found a girl. This part, I know. This part, I distinctly remember. I do not remember, like, a ton of stuff that I've run into to get here, and I'm actually surprised that this part is so far into the game, because this room I remember. Because how could you not, right? You stumbled upon a gorgeous woman locked in a tower. She's so pretty. This 
fine lass lies upon the floor, chained to the wall. She is extremely beautiful. Hello. Well, also, what's this? It's some sort of spike that is made of precious metals. Ouch! The tips are as sharp as needles. You, lady? It doesn't seem to understand what you say. Interesting. Anyway, look what happens if you hit her. <laughs> With a loud roar, the wolf pounces on you, taking your life. She's a werewolf. Sneaky bitch. They get you with the <gasps> pretty girl, but she's a werewolf. That I always remembered. That the solution to this room is don't talk to her. Like, don't try to help her. Don't do anything except this, I believe. Because they told me this arrow was silver. Your aim is true as you plunge the silver arrow into the beautiful woman. The beautiful lady suddenly transforms into a wolf. Haha. -ha. This looks like your typical dead werewolf. Your arrow is deeply lodged in its body. I win. The blade is in your hand. Screw you, wolf. I'm out. That was the only thing I remembered about this game. Like, well, I remembered the coffin room as well, but I remembered at some point there's a lady in a tower who's pretty and chained up and do not help her, just stab her with an arrow. was a good idea. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I'm a little stuck. Consult the walkthrough. Kill the Cyclops? Oh shit. Use 
stone on sling. Use sling on cyclops. Use sword on cyclops. You drive the sword deep into the cyclops. Blood pours out of the wound and onto the grass. He's dead! The dead Cyclops. What do you expect after stabbing him with a sword? So finally crafted well. Uh... Crank turns rather easily. At the end of the rope, there's a small bucket. Look. Bucket. Small bucket is used to fetch water from the depths. Open. Bucket. Bucket is open. <gasps> Gauntlet! Silver plate. It bears the symbol of the circle of twelve. I will take it. Please, thank you. And now, back I go. I love dead cyclopses. Yeah, much better now that he's dead. Alright, back in here. And back in here. And I saw something about a strange stone. That looks strange. Lab animals can be chained to this stone while performing experiments on them. Not shit. What can I use on that then? Not sure what to use there. But I have a gauntlet now, so I can touch acid, right? Use gauntlet on me. You place the gauntlet on your hand. It feels like it was made just for you. Aha! Give me this. By using the silver gauntlet, you remove the flute easily. The sound of the water splashing is music to your ears. wooden flute. It looks like it could make wonderful music. Hmm. Hang on. I tried to open, but can I use the stone? Stone rises slowly out of the floor. A shining vial is inside it. Aha! The glass vial is filled with clear liquid. The sign of the cross is on it. <gasps> Holy water! Gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme! Water is in hand. Nice! Okay, so I've got holy water. That's helpful. I should try I forgot to try my spells so I have spells and I think this one mentioned earth a large crack appears around the equator of the globe. Woo! Open! Open! Globe's open! What are these? Bottle? Small black bottle with a cork on top. Ah, shit! My torch went out! God damn it! It is a clumsy death.
speak. Jet black skeleton key. Cake. I don't know what all these bottles are for. They might be useless for all I know, but I'm taking them anyway. I have infinite inventory. Write them out. I have another key. Was that a graphical glitch? There was a hole in this rug as it loaded in. It's a rather beautifully woven rug. There was a hole as it loaded in. I saw it. What? The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. A key can be seen underneath. Ha ha ha! Thank you, graphical glitch. Thank you. I would never have thought to do that, so thank you. Give me that. Give me that key. Hell yeah. Graphical loading error for the win. Alright, let's use a torch. Okay, I've got some keys, so let's explore. Uh, use key four. Here. small corridor, two arched doorways, wait patiently for you. Okay. I will take these torches, and then I will go right, as is my tradition. Oh, hi! In a small throne room, a skeleton wearing a gold crown sits on the throne in front of you. Hello. Although he looks dead enough, this royal skeleton sends shivers down your spine. There seems to be something in his hand. In the center of the pillar is the carving of a sword. Sir Dugan's royal seal is carved on the stone pillar in vivid colors. Um, I took that. Can I use that? Uh, crest. Use crest. Shit. Uh, use an give the scepter to the skeleton, the seal on the pillar lowers. You can now see a ring-shaped hole. Sir Dugan's royal seal is carved.
From this windy ledge, we can get an idea of the size and strength of the castle. Sky foretells the coming of a great storm. This appears to be a mount of some sort, perhaps for a flagpole. Stairs connect. Okay. Lightning lights up the countryside as you stand on a lookout point. It's a pot of gold. The leprechaun must have skipped town. The canvas pouch looks to be quite light. Close inspection reveals some druidic script on it. Bag 3 is open. As you move the pot, you realize that you have fallen for the oldest trick in the book. You suddenly find yourself knee-deep in the moat. Seems that the alligators really enjoy your company. Rip. Does the pouch have tongues in it? circular room radiates a fervent heat. Okay. Flame burns within the brazier, lighting the entire room. This horn is forged of flawless platinum. Its beauty is unbelievable. Wood liner. Okay. I'll take this. Oh, hi! A large fireball suddenly appears in the room and causes you to shield your eyes. When you open them, you notice that the fire has changed into something far more menacing. Hi! The Hellhound makes this hot room even hotter. There must be a way to cool the room off before you roast. Well, if he's a Hellhound, then surely I can use holy water, right? Uh, water. Use water. On um, Hellhound. Holy water has sent the hellhound back to the place where it was spawned. Ha ha ha! Flame died out. The room is quiet as though nothing happened. Give me this horn. The horn is in hand. Nice. And now we move. Ah! As you stand on the turret, an eerie blue dragon appears in the clear starry sky. Hi! Bye, doggy. This rather heavy talisman is made of gold and is extremely sharp along the edges. It shines with incredible brilliance. The wyvern. This beastie is a distant cousin of a dragon, but is smaller and fiercer. Um, use horn. Use flute. Flute music could possibly lead you to an endless dream. That didn't help. Use blade. Oop. Use star. Star becomes a flash of light as you launch it. Ah! Crash! It strikes the wyvern and it explodes into a million pieces. Nice! I'll take this. Yoink! Shit. I 
I did get the flute in here and didn't try to play it, which was mighty silly. So let's do that. Use flute. Sound of the flute is very pretty indeed. It seems like you wake from a dream only to find a hole in the tree. Is it real? The flute's, the flute's music is like magic. Aha! Gimme. Take. What's this? The ring is in hand. I got a ring! Perfect! fits perfectly. The throne magically rises, revealing a secret passageway. Aha! This hallway is made of large granite slabs. Okay. Very dark. It's a doorway. It's a torch. I will take all the torches. first. On the opposite wall are a pair of stone beasts guarding a dark archway. Sulfurous fumes rise from the hot molten lava some 30 feet below you. Swimming would not be wise. Huge statue is made of precious metals. It holds a basin of smoldering coals. It's very dark. The stone statue is some three and a half feet tall and ugly as all heck. It's very cold to the touch. Okay. Ah, suddenly the beasts begin to shudder and their eyes begin to glow red. <coughs> Gargoyles, angered at your presence, spring from their frozen state and rip you to pieces. Not enough left of you, even to feed the birds. Rip! thinking, you jump through the opening and immediately hear a loud click. Suddenly, the granite slab above you gives way and crushes you beneath it. Breaks every bone in your body. Ah. Boo! Alright. That's enough exploring of this. I am going to run through the guide from beginning to end to just see what all is necessary to do in the game. I did pretty good with exploring. A lot of it, I only got stuck like a couple of times, or only got like confused a couple of times, um, and had to consult like, well, is there something else I can do? Um, but pretty nifty. So let's go ahead and just end this by doing a quick run through of the full path. About two hours of exploring is good enough, I think. 
さOpen the book. Take the key. Take regular torch and take special torch. <coughs> Back to the previous room. Use key two on the other door. Open the three doors. Move through the east door. Uh, open door, move through it. Those pebbles on the ground do not spawn if you don't have the sling. Because the first time I came in here, I hadn't gotten the sling yet, and those pebbles didn't exist. Take stone. It doesn't say to take the bag, so I'm just going to take the jewels. Take. And take. <clears throat> Go back to the room with three doors, move to the west. Use the 
white gem. Let the dragon get mad. Spear. Hammer. And torch. And I'm out. a little low. And now I'll use the torch in this way on the water. And I take my spear back. Okay. Okay. And now we backtrack to go through that secret passageway. Secret within a secret. torch that's fading on this torch and kill you. Okay, and now take these torches and this cloak. Open the door and move through. Open the hidden door in the far wall. And go ahead and move up there. the blue gem get the spell back I go
look at this other spell. Speak the spell. Epor. Okay. Take the torch. up the roof. Uh, take the stuff from here first. Take the broom and two torches. coffin, which is here, and burn a bitch. Use torch on mummy. Take the scepter. Okay, and back we go. Use the hammer. On this. And then use key three on the door. And use the cloak on myself. I go in. And now go in. Open the door. Use the spear. This guy. And forward I go. Okay, troll. Kill troll with spear. Use use spear. Cyclops man. Death to the Philistine. Kill the Cyclops. Use the crank. Open the bucket. Take the gauntlet. I'm also going to use a torch.
onward to adventure. <laughs> Take the torch, move through the lower left door. Open the door. Hey, Ryan. I'm quickly using the, uh, the guide to get through Shadowgate. I spent like two hours exploring and got pretty close to the end. But I was kind of stuck. I wasn't really sure where to go or what to do. Like, none of the items I had seemed to be helping me. So, I just started over and I'm just running through with the guide to see what I would need to do. We're taking a break from the movie so we can get snacks and water, so I figured I'd drop in and say hi. Hi! Take the key and the glasses. Bellows. Speak Terra Tarak. Open the globe. Only take the key. everything here, so I will. Horseshoe. the door.
where I go? Glitch really is helpful in figuring out that you need to burn this rug. Burn the rug. right for give me a riddle riddle man you look at me I look back your right hand raises I raise my left you speak but I in vain dost thou know Bring me the answer to my riddle, and I shall let you pass. Would you like a mirror, good Sphinx? Here, you may have a mirror. I got a different riddle. You have correctly answered my riddle. You may now pass. Thank you. Away I go. I have to murder a damsel. Oh, wait, not yet. Lady. So captivated by the woman's beauty that you momentarily forget her predicament. water on the hellhound. Use 
star on wyvern. I totally accidentally figured that out. I was just trying shit. I didn't actually think the star was going to work on the wyvern when I first did it. Take the talisman. Move through the door on the left. Use the rod on the hole in the wall. I guess this counts as a flaw. Suddenly, the sky seems to be on fire as a bolt of pure lightning strikes the rod. You are startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that has formed at your feet. Take the one from the hand. Okay. As you take the one from the skeletal hand, it begins to descend. The hole then closes up as if it had never been. Um, okay. Big coin and gold coins. Going until I get back to the mirror? Okay. Bottle two on yourself, then cross the wooden bridge. That actually does make sense because it always says that 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 bottle is like impossibly light. So use bottle two on me. You drink the liquid and immediately begin to rise in the air. Snake, take the staff. Yeah, I never would have figured out to go all the way back here. Uh, use... Wand... On... Snake! The snake begins to shake and shudder. Is it just your eyes, or is it shrinking? The serpentine statue begins to change. It grows smaller and smaller. It dematerializes and forms anew as a staff of tremendous beauty. Sweet! Pretty handy. Take that staff. Go back. Go in with the bridges and cross the stone bridge. Suddenly you feel heavier than you did only a moment ago. Stone bridge, go through north door, up the rope.
The troll says you must pay a toll of one gold coin. Uh, try to move across the bridge, then speak the Humana spell to go past. Okay. I mean, I have gold now, why don't I just pay him? Whatever. The spell was chanted, Humana. As soon as the magic is invoked, you lose sight of yourself. You're as invisible as the wind. totally fucked my game. I used the staff on that skeleton and I couldn't take it back. I needed to use the scepter on the skeleton. So like, there was nothing I could do. I was, I was screwed. I had to restart. Well, that's good to know. That makes me feel better. Use a torch. Oh, old games being unforgiving and uh, allowing you to totally screw yourself over long before you know that you screwed yourself over. screwed up. Okay, sorry. I did use the scepter. I was right. Straight ahead, move through the door to the right of the gargoyles. Speak the more the Motari spell. Move through the door in the far wall. The statue lowers, and a large platform rises out of the lava. You now have a way across. Ah, sweet! Okay. Clue for this room is on the stairs in the Sphinx room. Use the lever on the right, use the middle lever, use the lever on the left. The cylinder will open. Right, middle, right. Stalagmites surround this room like a cat, like the cavernous jaws of a huge beast. Looks like a large, very deep pit. It's a strong-looking metal cylinder. You seem to be wasting your time. You seem. cylinder lifts with a shuddering sound. You're momentarily dazzled as the darkness is lit by a blinding flash. The silver orb is revealed! Sweet! Gimme! 
Take the oil. As soon as you remove the orb, the cylinder closes. Sweet. Okay. Now move. And apparently speak the Illumina spell to blind the gargoyles. That makes sense. The spell was chanted. Illumina. Suddenly, the cavern is so bright that you have to shade your eyes. It takes you a few moments to regain your senses from the Nova Burst. It seems the gargoyles were also affected and haven't yet recovered from the spell. Move! seems to be made solely for the purpose of housing the well. These wooden planks act as a cover for the well. Fine well is made of both stone and mortar. Open. The cover of the well is open. Uh, use a big coin on the well. Okay. As soon as you throw the coin into the well, a huge wind erupts from within it. It reminds you of the small dust devils you see in the autumn months. Move down the well. The swirling winds carry you down the deep well and set you gently into the cavern below. Nice. You stand above a beach looking down upon a river. And now... Well, the river's water is dead calm. It wouldn't surprise you if this were the river Styx. It's a great gold gong. Its beauty is enhanced by the intricate stand that supports it. Use... Mallet on gong. After the gong sounds, a specter materializes right before your eyes. The ghostly ferryman doesn't look friendly. You hear a faint voice ask for a fare. Would you like a gold coin, sir? Karen? The ferryman takes the coin and gestures you to board quickly. Move on to the raft. You climb aboard the tiny raft and soon move to the opposite bank. A stone skull stands against the far wall, screaming silently. For some reason, you get the feeling you are standing on sacred ground. Use the talisman on the hole on the left. Okay. The artifact, known as the Bladed Sun, is now secured and in place. Oh, that makes sense, because it's a blade, bladed sun. Use the horn. The sound of the horn echoes loudly in your ears. Suddenly, you hear the sound of grinding rock. The jaw of the skull begins to descend. Hot wind erupts from the mouth, creating the illusion that the stone skull is alive. Then move through the skull gate. Okie dokie. The cavern that you have entered is by far the largest your eyes have ever gazed upon. Wow! From the depth rises the most powerful creature that has ever existed, the Behemoth. Your stomach knots up as you stare at this new horror. The beast is indeed incredible. You wonder for a moment how you can defeat such a creature as this. Uh, I use... 
I use the blade on the staff. Suddenly, lightning begins to flash in the room. Then the golden spike slides smoothly onto the staff and locks into place. And then, I use the orb on the staff. Light cascades through the room as the staff becomes a living entity. And then, I use the staff on the behemoth. Staff on behemoth. You pray as you raise the staff of ages that, that, is as, that it has the power that the prophets claimed. The staff pulsates with power, and the beam of light explodes from it, stri striking the behemoth. Woohoo! Woo! Oh! It grabbed the guy! The creature screams in agony, thrashing back and forth in great pain. In his rage, he grabs the Warlock Lord and descends into the depths forever. You can hear the Warlock Lord's screams fade into silence suddenly. It is very quiet. A beautiful light seems to fill the cavern. The morning sun, you say to yourself. It is over. Although exhausted, you lean on the Staff of Ages and begin your long journey home. Word of your historic quest has already reached the farthest parts of the land. You are triumphantly greeted as you enter the gates of the royal city of Stormhaven. Moments later, you are ushered into the royal palace where you are greeted by the king. I know what thou hast done, brave one. The world would be dark forever without thee. bestowed a kingdom to rule and the king's fair daughter you are bestowed a kingdom to rule and the king's fair daughter's hand sweet as you leave the throne room you know that although this quest is over others await after all the bards will need new legends to sing of and new tales to tell the first stories end I mean, I had to use the guide, but I got pretty damn far. Like, I, I got all the way down to the, um, the area, like, right before the big bad. So, like, I was doing really good, but I didn't know to go back and get the, um, to change the wand into the staff. So, I didn't have the staff, and I didn't know where to get that, so... That was really what, uh, what held me back. But that's really fun. I mean, there are some things that aren't terribly, um, logical. Some things that are a little bit like, what? Why would I know to do that? Um, but overall, actually not that bad with lapses of logic once you know all of the things that you can do. Um, and really fun. So... I really liked it, and it would be cool at some point to, like, watch a playthrough of the newer versions of it, where they have, like, really, really nice art, and I think they've changed some of the puzzles. Um, so that would be super cool. But I thank everyone for coming and hanging out with me to check out, uh, the glory that is Shadowgate. Um, this is the end of our Spooktober month. So, we will be returning to less spooky games and just more, more normal game playing. Um, but that is going to be it for tonight and the end of my streaming for this week. So, I hope you all had a good time and have a lovely evening. Bye!